Today I'm going to tackle a problem that most owners of these older convertibles have to deal with and that's faded and scratched rear plastic windows. I mean how common is this? The condition of the plastic is okay, the stitching in the top is still good and if I can save this plastic window I'm going to have a really nice looking top but right now that window looks really ugly and if you come up here and look at the big window I've got some scratches along the top where it folds in. So I have my work cut out for me today, but we're going to use power tools to do this, and we're going to use the same kit that I used to polish anodized aluminum to see if we can get these plastic windows looking like new again. If you're going to use a power tool like I am today, you want to mask these windows off. You do not want the polishing compound to get into these canvas tops. Boy, I tell you, it's really hard to get out. So we're going to take the Miracle Paste, put it on this multi tool with a special head, and we're going to go after this area right here. This is probably the worst area right in here, and we're going to see how well this works. It's not going to take much on that pad. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be spraying it all over the place. So we'll put it on the plastic and rub it around quite a bit before we ever hit the trigger. All right, this is going to take a while. I'll come back after we work this a few minutes and see how we're doing. What I'm going to tell you next is probably the most important thing I can say about this operation. You cannot overheat the plastic, I'm going to repeat. Do not overheat the plastic or you'll deform it. So you have to make sure that you never run this paste dry. Keep that paste wet while you're running the polisher. We've applied three applications of the paste. Notice here that I've put a piece of masking tape here and I've done that so we'll be able to see the difference between the two. We're just working that lower section. Now you got to remember that the Miracle Paste has a cutting agent in it so you're never going to get the high gloss in the plastic from just using that. We're now going to switch to our Miracle Polish, which is a high quality acrylic polish. We replace the pad and this is going to be the final application to see if we can get the shine back into this plastic window. I've done enough polishing here. You know, you can take this to an extreme if you want. It's really hard to get the difference in the camera, but I think when I pull this tape, you'll be able to see it. I think you can already see it already. Let's pull the tape back. All right. Now let's look in here and see if we can pick up the difference where the line is. I'll bring the camera this way and we'll roll it over like this. And then we'll come down to the bottom. And look at that. Look at the difference in shine right there, right where it breaks. So this is really nice looking. Now this window wasn't too bad. So the real test is going to be that center window. Let's take a close look here on this center section. We've got some scratches right there. And then as we move down, we've got some discoloration and fogging. And then we move down lower and we even have more scratches right in here. Uh, these scratches are pretty bad. So what I'm going to do, I'll do the same thing. I'll put a piece of tape there and we'll go to work on these scratches and see what we can do. These are really tough to get out. I haven't fully polished the inside of the plastic or the outside, but I think if I run the camera along here, you can see right there. See where the scratches are and where they end? That polishing took out about 80 to 90 percent of those scratches. So I think you can already see this is going to be a labor of love. It's going to take a while, particularly if your plastic windows are in as bad a shape as my R129s are. But it's going to be worth the effort because when I come back and show you the finished product, you'll say, wow, what a difference. I have to say I'm really happy with the results. You know, I've used a lot of different polishes, hand polishes for polishing plastic over the years, including my aircraft windshields. But I've never found anything that works like this to remove scratches. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to see if you can see the line between where the scratch starts and doesn't. Look at how it took the scratch out. Now, I can't say it removed 100%, but 
let's come across here there you can see the scratch now I'm gonna move back and you can see where I polished there's so much glare out here it's really hard for you to see but I'm gonna back up here and come at it at an angle and you can see the whole rear window but that's pretty amazing I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this I haven't decided whether I want to come up with a kit with all the supplies you'd need to do this yourself but in part two I'll come back with a finished video on the entire top and then we'll talk about where we go from here I pulled the SL500 into the shop to see if I could get some better light on this so you could see the difference and here I think you can clearly see the line notice this polish will not take out dents in the plastic that's from leaving the top down in the hole too long but man did it go after those scratches now like I said it's not going to eliminate them completely if they're really deep in the plastic but it will take away the obvious look of a scratch as you can see here look at the difference it's pretty amazing